Yo, welcome back to the channel guys, it's all day in Yorkshire, I am in the county of Durham on this nice sunny afternoon. Now I've just recently um, asked some, I had somebody ask me on their Instagram, they sent me a private message, um, can't remember where I was, I think it was Lancashire, yeah that's it, Lancashire, the sister me. Why are you in Lancashire when you're all in Yorkshire? Now, I don't know if it were a genuine question or if we're just trying to be funny. But basically, just to clear up any confusion, you can take the name out of the um, counter, but you can't take the county out of the name. So yeah, I am all in Yorkshire. I do go further afield. And, and that's pretty much it. Be all and end all. So we're going to make his way up to um, up to the police station now and see what's happening up there. Right, guys. So we found the police station. Durham County uh, Durham Constabulary. Right off the bat, private property, no public access. Police personnel will only be on this point. There's plenty of signage, which is good to see. A keypad with um, like a hidden metal thing over it so you can't see the pin code, that's good to see. Because there's not enough of them about. There's um, quite a good gate. Not one sort of what you can just walk through or around it. Like the one what I saw at Jewsborough. Could have told me you were opening that mate. It's a bit ignorant to ignore people, lad. But I'd have had my hand off, I'd have sued you. So there we go, right off the bat, guys. I've just got here. Um, PC's open gate. When I have my hand through it. Kind of my fault, I know. But he didn't say he's looking back now. He didn't say that he were opening it and he didn't show any acknowledgement to me whatsoever walked off and then looked back absolute muppet fuel pump as well here but looks of it let's get as cat many car number plates as we can today because uh, we know they don't like it there is uh, there is another gate up here for some police vehicles as well Durham Constabulary, it's my first time in County Durham today. Not a lot of people, what are um, chat here up today, is there? No admittance authorised personnel only, this car park is use of um, per police personnel only. Any vehicles found in this car park without authority may be clamped. So this gate is actually stuck. Barrier contractor. If you need the barrier key to lower it, phone this number. Alternatively, press the buzzer at the custody door next to the rear door. And that is from Sue in admin. So this, uh, this barrier is not working. Uh, 
there'd be custard is down there I'm not sure if this is all part of the PlayStation guys but um, it's on the property or on their part anyway So I've no idea if this is a, if this is an HQ or if it's just a police station. It's already open. You don't need to buzz it. Me? The buzzer's broken. Uh, it, the barrier's broken, so you don't need to okay. card kit. Yeah. Who's right? superintendent? Ready? Hey, it's not every day I speak to a super. How are you doing? I'm all right, are you? Hey, yeah, I'm just doing a quick video around your police station. Is this the main one in Durham? Yeah, what's the, what, what's the agenda? Me? I am. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm not going to sell you photo online. Now there is no agenda. Okay, Just making a documentary. Oh. This one's off. Right. Sorry. What's the documentary for? Well, when I've made it, I'm going to review it and then decide what to do with it. There you are. Yeah. Have a nice day. How are you doing? You're all right. Hey, up. We've got an inspector as well. I must be blessed. Famous inspector. Yeah. I uh, yeah, he, he tried like letting on like he wanted a superintendent, but he was. I recognise that crown. Oh, you doing all right? Yeah, yeah, not I too bad. Well, I just noticed it. Yeah, I can't know what it's about you. No, no, yeah. it's um. To be honest, that guy's the only person who spoke to me and you. Uh, I had one of your That's PCs fine, nearly take my hand off with other barrier. Yeah. Because what what it? You know what? They don't stop when they come down. Well, I know I shouldn't have been. I'd, it's my own fault because I, I sort of had my hand through the hole in it. And I was sort of like resting my wrist on it, so it's no. my own fault. No, I, I thought they would stop. You know when they come down? Yeah, yeah. I thought they would stop when you put your hand on them, but they don't. And they're... Oh, like a sensor? Yeah. Well, what this guy did was, he put the passcode in. And I did it quite as a mouse, didn't even yeah. know it was them. And it just shut up and I went, bloody hell, mate. He could have took my hand <laughs> off and he just ignored me and just walked off. I went, not very polite, are you? <laughs> yeah, so. I'm, I'm Dave, by the way. Dave, Target. nice to I'm meet you. I'm, uh... You... Daytime inspector. Yeah, yeah, oh, like yeah. So it's just one. The daytime stuff. So, well, there's like response inspector on who's 24/7. I do like neighbourhoods daytime. So, All right. Um, well, that's good. Yeah. Um, have you got? Are you YouTube? Are you? No. No. No, I'm just doing a documentary. Oh, yeah. So you know your superintendent is yeah. he based here permanently? No, no, he works all over. Say, so, um, he covers the whole of the north, I believe. North and uh, so like all the way from. Is he not a chief then? What's that? Is he not a chief in chief super? Or is he just a super? He's a super. He's a big change round. Because so it's not often you see um, it's not often you see a box standard superintendent going to different stations. Yeah, I was doing it the minute. Yeah. Normally they're just based at one station and then yeah. you get like a chief superintendent who will have like maybe maybe two, three, four stations yeah. under his belt, what he'll go around and look after. Yeah, no, they just had a move around but like Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, Alright, no um, problem. Yeah, but no, I didn't, I didn't see I'm just going to uh, check on the case. Oh, no, no, it's fine. He, he came and tried to put his card in and they were like, mate, you don't have to do that, it's not working. No, but, but we're still asking to do that because then I know who's, who's here and who's... So even though it's not working, we still ask everyone to, to say, like, beep in, if you know what I mean? So oh. we know who's in there. Was well, it like um, clocking as well then? What's that? Is it like a so? No, it's just so. Do you know how many people's in by them beeping yeah, on that? Yeah, it comes on like a system where you. It's not the easiest to look at, but you, you know who's like gone in, so you can't sort of. You kind of know who's in the car park. Yeah. And things like that. So we still ask them to do it. Like uh, it's like at, at headquarters, the same. It's got a big old barrier, and but you still ask everyone to sort of beep in, yeah. No, he. Um, um, he just seemed quite shocked that I was recording. He went, what's that? You recording me? I went, yeah. No, I've, uh, I, know, I know some of the audience quite well, you know. And, uh, you are? I know some of the audience quite well, I've seen on there. So I didn't know whether you were one of the, the regular sort of YouTube order guys. Or... No, no. No? No, I never said or in order. No, no, I, I'm just saying, I just wonder where that's what you're doing. Why, have you had a lot up here? Yeah, yeah, we had, uh, we had the guys from Yorkshire came up uh, a few weeks ago. Who were them? Um, do you remember the uh, names? Can. Uh, 
see some of the big channels. Some of the, the, the so there's yeah. right off the bat there's DJ, he's a big one, there's PJ, audits, there's news now Yorkshire, there's Marty Blackborough. Marty's been here, um I don't think you might miss him. Uh new Yorkshire's been up here. Um What did you think to them guys? Good, good guys, just like yourself, you know. Yeah. Well. Um they get a lot of hate online, especially Marty. You get, think? Who are? Just off, um, just off general public. Yeah. You know, like Facebook, and they all post on Facebook, and uh, I don't. But yeah, they get quite. The, he gets quite oh, a lot yeah, of hate. Well, yeah, I thought, uh, it might be because he's a bit highly strung at times. Guys, it's, uh, it's character. I want, Yeah, they've always been good, mate. Cause I've, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I won't say not bad about them because I've been watching them for. Uh, for about a year, two years before I started deciding to, you know, do my own sort of yeah. documentaries and stuff. But I don't just do police stations, I do, um, you know, like excav um, exploration as well, you yeah. know, like um, exploring like abandoned buildings and stuff. Yeah. Uh, granted, uh, I've, I've done loads and loads and loads, but I've not, I've, I've never recorded them, I've only ever recorded two. Right. So I'm a bit gutted about that, but I have done quite a few. I am wanting to get some more done at some point in the future. What's the best spell you've been at? Um, the best one? Well, probably, probably London. I went to an abandoned um, British Airways training facility. Yeah. What, what still had all the simulating aeroplanes in and stuff. Right. Yeah, so that was quite good. You find them eerie? You find them best? Yeah, yeah, of course I do. Yeah, I've been to mental asylums, hospitals. Yeah. Um, they are a little bit daunting, especially yeah. when you go on your own. You know, you always you always go uh, text tech, them at Weir, you know, yeah. make sure you've got um, a tyre iron, let's say, just in case you, you need to change your tyre. You don't really, it's not a good idea to be going places like that on your own and no. sort of like leaving yourself open to no, vulnerability. Well, that's why I said it's just in case you need to change a tyre, innit? Well, I want to get back to work. It's a bit red hot here. Yeah, well, I ain't been out for two days. So it's um, this is the first day out since we've had the two day heat wave. Yeah. I've just been at home hibernating. But like I said, I've not been here before. And I've been to quite a few places and I'm planning on going to loads more. But I don't know who goes where. I can't remember off the top of my head. So if you yeah. say to me, oh, we had some auditors here the other week, I don't always watch them but on YouTube. With the Crown Court being so close, that we're both at the same time, you know? Yeah. Where's the Crown Court then? Crown Court. You've got like a Crown Crown Court, and then if you go past me up the hill, you've got um, the big prison, the Franklin prison. Uh, so it's all like in a big area. So it should be Franklin? Yeah. Yeah. The category A one? Yeah. Sorry, no, it's not that's Durham prison, sorry. I was going to say... No, um, Franklin's along towards... Um, I was going to say I'm going to Franklin. No, no, that's uh, along down... Um, go down probably and down towards... Yeah, you know, I know it's not oh, this sorry, close. HMP Durham, sorry. Uh, so that's around the corner. And then the Crown Court there is obviously quite a historic one. Uh, quite oh, cool. Crown Court. Because um, he used, used to hang people at the other side of here. Well, I might nip to. Uh, I might go to Durham Prison as well then. I've done a few prisons. I went to Wakefield over there. That was quite cool. Yeah. Because it's um, quite popular, isn't it? It's it's well known. Yeah. It's a monster mansion, people call it. <laughs> Just down the road from Flares, not all pretty well. It's still there, but it's Flares. Still there. Yeah. Well, it was quite funny because uh, their prison staff were all a bit arsy with me. So I was using my drone that day, so what I did was, I used my drone from a location where yeah. I legally was allowed to, yeah. and then I walked pretty much right outside their front doors to fly it, which I can do, because yeah. I'm still out of the geo zone. Yeah. You know, it's the drone that has to be, not me. And he come out and he's like, you're breaking law, you're breaking law, you're flying in a restricted area. I said, I don't think so, pal. People don't always, I, I'm not big on like the, the legality, but I know some of the guys who come here, you know the law inside out about uh, drones and the weights and the, the operator's license and things like that. So, yeah. 
Uh, they, you know, they, that tends to be the whole idea of the game that they know. Yeah, yeah. The lower more on the feet, isn't it? So. Well, if they didn't, they'd be uh, no good at what we do. Yeah. yeah. Would be. But I, th I think you know when cops sometimes get a little bit angsty because um, when their own cars get on them, because they might like say you go to a gym and you don't want people sort of knowing what you do for a living, and uh, then you your cops on. But the, the chances of of getting. To be honest, it's not like we go around advertising for number plates. Yeah, I don't know. But people just do because they like to keep the home and, and, and it's separate. yeah, it's a bit silly though, isn't it? Because um, people's regs are recorded every single day, yeah, yeah, yeah. whether it's on our camera, somebody else's dash cams. Um, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just some people like to keep it separate. And that, I'm just saying that's why they sometimes get a little bit sort of uh, yeah, a little bit up, upset. But uh, no, well, well, West Yorkshire Police at worst for that, for shite down there. Like no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, but they're not good. I can't, I, I can't be doing with them. It's, it's, um, it's one of the most corrupt police forces in the country, mate. And I don't know if you know that, but you do your. Uh, no, I, I tell you, what, I stick to Joe. You do your investigating, and, and I've got enough work to do with that. You'll find that all right. It is one of the most corrupt uh, forces in the UK. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna have a wander round the front of the building. Right. Uh, check out your aim. Um, well, you've got. I mean, this is quite an old building, so it goes. But you've got the original frontage when you go around the corner, yeah. and then it goes up a big atrium, and then that's like our custody suite at the back. Um, so is that your custody suite there? Yeah, yeah. That's I thought the back it was. of the custody suite, and then um, the middle bit, sort of different officers. You've got response here and say Isaac, and yeah. um, all the different departments. But then the front office where like my is is like the old. The old building. I mean, that used to be the police station back in the day. Yeah, uh, we're going to say this building up right here. What yeah, is it? Because I'm looking at that. That was the police station. So if you have a look, that was the. I don't know what the front bit was, but that was the old police station. That was the superintendent's office up the top. All oh, right. Um, so what's it used for now then? It's uh, flats. That's flats, and you've got a uh, the Zen restaurant, which is just uh, here. Flats. Private yeah, flats. Private flats. So do they have um, access through that door then? No. No. Is that door sealed off? Up. Oh, right. like this all the way along here they, they all just look under the sort of the, the car park you know? i wouldn't say because they'd, they'd be coming out into your car park their private oh. car park then wouldn't they no I, I don't think that works i don't know it's a fire exit or whatever but i have i have been good today though the the barrier is up and i've, I've not come in i appreciate that um yeah. so um, i have been good generally what i do is places where i've got barriers and i can get in i go in yeah if i don't have to jump over it or yeah. force my way in so if you had like a little gap at the side yeah what's big enough to fit through without me squeezing yeah. generally what i do is i go in because then when they come out and they start having a go at me and this yeah. and other about it being private property and all that jazz yeah. i say well at the end of the day get yourself some fences mate get yourself yeah. some gates yeah, get yourself that's... you know people keep cracking on about police stations not um, being secure yeah. you secure them because they're supposed to be so when I like when I've come here today, no, that gate's secure. Be fixed tonight. Tomorrow they're waiting on a pass. This gate, yeah, they're waiting on a pass. Is usually secure. Yeah. You've got little um, protective things on your keypads yeah. where people can't see them. Uh, a lot of a lot of police stations don't have the simplest of things. And then the more when people wandering off at street. So. Alex, back to work. It's been nice to meet you. Um, yeah, you too. Obviously, if you get out, that's my card. If you uh, just say you're supporting me. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not. I'm yeah. not hanging about for ages no. here today because I've got a few places I need to go. What's your name? Kev. Kev. Yeah. Uh, nice to just Kev. Just obviously, if you get any uh, grief, but I appreciate the way you've been, us, mate. It's all right, mate. I. To be honest, um, I don't have an issue with saying my first name on video yeah. because I, I don't even block it out because um, it's in me. My first name's in my other videos, and generally, if people are right with me and they're, and they're nice to me, I'll be nice to them. Yeah. But if I start saying, "Oh, well, can I take your details and all that shit?" then no, you're not getting no. You know who I am, Kev. Yeah, nice one, Dave. Nice you. you take care, mate. Yeah. See you later. So we've uh, 
we've just had a nice little little word with Dave Clark inspector 993 he were really nice so he, um, yeah he didn't try and get my details or anything like that which I really appreciate obviously he asked me what my name was but you know I could sort of tell from his body language and, and how, he's, how he was acting that he wasn't trying to get things out of me so yeah I've got no problem telling him my first name but yeah we'll, we're gonna have a wander out front now and uh, see what crack is Yeah, he's given me his card and uh, yeah he's basically said if you get any hassle tell him you've spoke to me which is really nice of him It's a bit dark in here, isn't it? There's somebody in here. We operate around the clock, and our front counter opening times are located for eight till six Monday to Friday, Saturday and Sunday, ten till four. So we'll have a look online before we leave and just make sure they the correct hours and if they're not we'll put an edit in as i've done with a couple of stations of late so i've um, yeah i've recently watched a video um i'm just going to test it yeah i've recently watched a video of audit in britain down in london and he went to a station what had so you walk straight through your door and then sort of turn right and then you've got two windows and two booths so you can, what you can do is you can go in a booth and you can you can request them to close the door so you've got some privacy they're not soundproof but they, they do do a really good job of not letting much sound out which is really cool and they've got something exactly the same well similar should i say here at durham when you come through the main door you've got another door what leads to oh i was going to say the window but they've just completely foiled my plan and made me look stupid now because the door's open that's weird Oh yeah, Um, can you lock that door when requested? This door, this door here. No, no, you know, like if you're speaking to somebody um, and, and they want some privacy, can, can you lock that door? Because I've noticed it says enter and it says wait. Right, two seconds, I'll double check if this isn't my normal key. All right, no problem.
bomb in here, isn't it? Bloody hell. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, that, that's what I wanted to ask. All right. Because I've I've never seen it in a in a PlayStation myself, yeah. apart from London. Yeah. So. Where you know where you can close them if people need privacy. Yeah. So all of our stations, we can wait as far as I'm aware, we can lock all of our internal doors to provide that extra like security. Yeah, yeah. Because you, you, I imagine you'll have like a little button under your counter, won't you? Yeah. Or somewhere. Yeah. That's all I wanted to know, love. Because um, I, I was just telling a little story about it outside when it went and opened. Right. So it made me look a bit daft. Because I didn't realise if you'd locked it or not. So we just showed me how to lock it on a knife. Ah, really ah right. So what I was doing is I was just making sure you could do. So yeah, no problem. Yeah, I'm going now. So that's all I need to know. Thank you. No problem at all. Take care. Take care. See ya. Bye. See you later, pal. Have you, got a, have you got a minute, officer? Huh? Have you got a minute? Not really, no. Not really, no? No, I'm going to go somewhere. Can I help? Well, yeah, that's why I said, have you got a minute? Is it, is it super urgent? Because I'm in the middle of a job. Right, right. so you're not going to make time for public? Well, it depends. Is it an emergency? I just wanted to give you a bit of advice, that's all. No, it's all right, thank you. You know, when you're dealing... I'm in the of a job. So, that lady there, was she a victim of crime? Right, it's none of your business. None of my business? Yeah. Well, I am, yeah, so what I'm going to suggest, officer, is if you're dealing with a victim of crime from now on, just refrain from discussing it near the public gate, well, out onto the public, where people can hear the conversation, it's not very professional. You go away and think about that, pal. can't believe that right so what I'm gonna do guys is um, <clears throat> when I review this video to edit before it's published if because I don't know if a mic picked any of it up but if it has picked any of that lady's personal information up because I could hear it and I could hear a phone number what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna drop the um, audio from it because it's not very professional on their part to be discussing per discussing personal personal uh, information with victims of crime at a main gate into a police station where there's a public footpath he's probably another tyrant anywhere no no smiles, no, can I help you? Is it urgent? Can I help you? Well, yeah, that's why I asked if you've got a minute. 
Muppet. Let's see if I can uh, find out what his colour number is. Right guys, I've been hanging about for quite a while now. Um, there's not much activity. Nobody about. Excuse me, are you a copper? Might as well talk to that wall. Yeah, there's nobody hanging about, so I was going to try and get the colour number of uh, them two coppers who were talking to that woman. But this place is like a graveyard, so I'm going to move on. Um, I'm going to have a wander up to the Crown Court. Um, We'll keep it in the same video guys, so I'll see you there. Let's get some uh, some quick drone footage guys of the, uh, of the Durham Constabulary. So obviously I know we got all this on the um on the what is it? Sorry, let me just just turn that on. I know we got all this on the early recording. But I just wanted to very quickly see if we can get a quick glimpse into custody. Can't go any further down because there's uh, not buildings in my way. I can't go into their yard. But no, not pretty pointless. Some kind of building there, storeroom, something like that. Not to worry, guys finish it off and get a nice uh, nice big helicopter shot of it all there we go guys Durham Constabulary I'm just filming, you know, yeah, no, literature for public. No, no, it's just to be set up in the not allowed to want to sit inside the building now, unfortunately. Uh, what about Just in it? case you catch any of the jury or anything, that's all. Outside, as long as you're out of the, the car park area, that's spot on. Oh, right, just, just in the car just park, just in case it catches any, any of the jury, because we've only unfortunately got one entrance in and out of the building. All right, I understand. Yeah, okay, well, I'm not going to argue with you for that. No, no that's fine, no, that's um, fine. Have you, uh, is it Monday to Friday, this place? Have they, them opening hours correct? Um, yeah, yeah, fine, fine. I've, I've got a bit of a thing about opening. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, that is, yeah, yeah, Monday yeah. to Friday. Um, it's five o'clock is when the quarter's normally finish. All right. And then half four is on Friday, is the last. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't even realise it. Well. I don't even realise it. We're open there. It, yeah, no, no, that's it, fine. It looks shut. Um, who do you work for? The court directly? No, we're subcontracted. Subcontracted? How long's it been here? Because this is 270 year old. Inspector down there was saying there's quite a lot of history behind it. Yeah, no, there is. It's uh, 270 year old. I've tried looking and so, I can't, yeah, I can't nah, seem to find it. It's hard, hard to find stuff, but I mean, it's just a little, see where the little white squares are on the top there as well. Oh, yeah. You just stop recording there just in case you catch someone there. But that's where oh, they It's all right. It's, it's looking at wall. Yeah. No, no, it's just in case you catch anything. That's all, mate. Oh, if I do, I'll, do, I'll delete it. That's fine. 
Um, no, that's just uh, that's where the pillars used to come out, and people used to sit on, right. on the grass and that, and it's where they used to hang people. Hang people. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, don't worry about the recording, because what, no, what what I do, mate, right, is... Um, I know you're, you're one of the... Old, old and I've just had a perfect example. I've been stood down at Gates at um, oh. PlayStation, and two PCs have been having um, a private conversation with a victim of crime, mm. and I heard everything, phone number, address, what had gone on. Uh, I don't know if my... I pulled them on it. They're just very evasive and just walked off, and I don't know if my mic's picked all up, but if it has, I'll be dropping audio, audio out of video. Um, because I'm nice, yeah, nice. and if it were me, I, I wouldn't want people no, knowing I I I've been to a police so. station. I'll also blur her face out as well because yeah, yeah. she's a victim of crime. Um, just like if, if I saw anybody here now, yeah, no, that's oh, I shouldn't be seeing. Like even TV, I block it, TV yeah. and that, they're, they're not allowed to, they all know I block it out. that in this area they can't record, yeah. but once you're outside the gate at the bottom or the gate at the side. The gates, so the gates so at the side, the wall there, gate at the bottom, and then the gate just down there. at the bottom, and that gate over there. So Any, anywhere outside of that area. So yeah, all this here, here's, here's all prohibited, just in case, because like I say, we've only got it's one. It's all entrance. private property. Yeah, this is private property. Oh, I didn't here. know that. No, that's fine. That's fine. So <laughs> it, no, I didn't know. No, that's fine. So it, I just thought it were like, because um, it is a thoroughfare, isn't it? Thoroughfare. Yeah, through through this bit here, up yeah. to there, but everything on this side here. All right. And in that car park there as well, because that's obviously the prison. That's understandable. So it's all. So that gate, that, that door, is that the door to the prison? No, no, it would have been many, many years many, ago. Many, many years ago. Main prison, if you can't, up past the gate here. And round? Up, up round oh. the corner, you'll see some flagpoles and that's the prison just up there, mate. Well, I'm going to have a walk around there and have a oh, look. Um, but yeah, what I'll do is I'll I'll get a quick snapshot of that front door. Uh, that's quite interesting, that we used to hang people here. Yeah. That's crazy. So basically what they do is they pass the sentence and then cut the fat straight away in essence and yeah, that's it you got it used to be a family court and uh, like I say, civil court and criminal court so uh, is it just a crown now no it's just all right court, no yeah. problem all right what's up too much of your time up no, there no, and no, uh, no, like no. i said i'll appreciate i'll respect you you know what no, you've no, said no, all right my name's kev Ian. 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 nice to meet you take care lad So, Ian were very nice. That's two nice people, I've, three nice people I've bumped into now. So yeah, many, many years ago, that would have been the front door into the prison, but not anymore. Um, yeah, Crown Court, over 200, over 200 uh, year old, they used to hang people on the lawn. Shot it won't look as nice as um, it does now back then, but yeah, they used to pass the sentence and then they used to get the chop. So it should be done now with um, serial killers and rapists and kitty fiddlers and all that. But yeah, I um, I'm gonna walk around to the prison anyway, guys. It's absolutely dead down at the police station, so I don't think I'm gonna be going back there. But if I do, I'll just add some onto the video. So I'm going to go to HMP Durham now, guys. So again, till next time, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace out.